Happy Tuesday, iHipsters. I noticed over the weekend that RNC uh, head, Lara Trump, released a music video um, while the adults, Kamala Harris and Tim Walls, are out campaigning and making the case to American workers, to women suffering from draconian laws in red states because their rights have been stripped by Donald Trump. She's out in her spare time, not helping down ballot Republicans, yeah. but releasing a music video. Again, these are unserious people that get involved with very serious jobs that make a complete mockery of the entire country. Pumps found a little tidbit to where if you listen to Trump long enough, he starts confessing to everything he's ever done. Let me have Pumps play you this clip. Whoever heard you get indicted for interfering with a presidential election where you have every right to do it, you get indicted and your poll numbers go up. When people get indicted, your poll numbers go down. It is amazing to me how bad he is at this. I know you say it all the time, but truly, he's confessing to a crime. I know that they've reported it to the judge in that case and to the prosecutor. They've sent that clip by design saying, okay, he confessed to the crime. The problem, I think, for me is that it's a realization that he truly believes whatever is best for him is the right thing to do. That he, he has no concept that there are rules and guardrails and laws that he has to be accountable to. I just found it fascinating. And not to beat a dead horse, but that Lara Trump clip. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's, it, it's so ridiculous. She's not even a good singer. If you can imagine... Anybody really on the on the Democratic side, if um, let's just say Michelle Obama released a single in their way out of office, they have zero F's left to give the meltdown in the right wing media universe would just be unfathomable. They would be beside themselves. But here she is, just blatant hypocrisy. They are such showboaters. They are such grandstanders from the top of the ticket all the way down. And they do, it's like they're playing make-believe with real people, real serious jobs. And Donald Trump, if you listen to this man, I don't understand how anybody can justify voting for him. Right now, all of the hardcore right-wingers are freaking out because he has flip-flopped so many times on abortion and IVF. And most recently, in the most transactional, transparent move ever, because he heard somebody told him, you're not doing well with women because of your IVF stance. Well, then we'll just get the government to pay for it. Right. So he goes out and he starts broadcasting. We're going to pay for IVF for all Americans. Well, guess what? All of the hardcore right-wingers are now melting down over that because these are the guys who... During Obamacare, if you remember, Hobby Lobby went to the Supreme Court because they didn't want to pay for birth control through insurance. So the Republican Party, and specifically the MAGA Party, for a long time have shown us exactly what they believe. These are the rules for us. This is what we get to do. If you're a woman, sorry, tough titties, you're not going to get to do that. If you're gay, sorry, tough titties, you're not going to get to do that. And the disdain and the racism that they, it used to be covert and now it's overt, the overt racism in, on the MAGA side is jaw dropping. The way they are going after Kamala, the intentional microaggression of mispronouncing her name over and over. And on Fox News, I don't even think they're hiding it anymore. No, they're not even trying to hide it. I mean, the racism is astounding. Mike Pence went on Fox News yesterday and he, let me play this clip about his position on Trump's conservatism. Well, Martha, I appreciate the question. And it should come as no surprise that I will not be endorsing Donald Trump this year. But look, I, I'm incredibly proud of the record of our administration. It was a conservative record that made America more prosperous, more secure, 
uh, and, and saw conservatives appointed to our course in a more peaceful world. Uh, but uh, th that being said, during my presidential campaign, I made it clear that there were profound differences uh, between me and, and President Trump on a range of issues, uh, and, and not just uh, our difference on my constitutional duties that I exercised on January the 6th. I mean, as, as I have watched his candidacy unfold, I've seen him walking away uh, from uh, our commitment to uh, confronting the national debt. I've seen him uh, starting to, to shy away from a, a commitment to the sanctity of human life. Okay. <laughs> Mike Pence is a far, hardcore, anti-woman, patriarchal right-winger. They wanted to kill him. Right. That's how far you have to go to get somebody within the MAGA universe to turn against you. The hang Mike Pence, and they tried to get him. And, and this guy, you know, he calls his wife mother. <laughs> He's as weird as all get out, Mike Pence. I mean, this guy is a cuckoo for Coco extraordinaire. But even he, at the end of the day, was pushed. And he was a vehement defender of Donald Trump during all of the shit, all of the separating at the border of the toddlers with the mothers, all of that just immoral, reckless stuff. But it was the hanging, the hang Mike Pence. And then now he has moral clarity. So I can't give him that much credit because he was right there, hook, line, sinker next to Donald Trump for the four years of utter chaos that has taken our country back decades, that took the racism that was just boiling under the, under the surface. It brought it up, you know, Charlottesville, all of that stuff. Mike Pence crickets. The only reason Mike Pence has moral clarity is because the MAGA will never love him. And he knows that they wanted to hang him. It's on tape. Everybody's seen it. It was live on CNN, live on Fox, live on MSNBC. But the situation, every political race, you have a one or two people that say, oh, I'm not voting for this ticket. And I used to be from the other party. What is happening right now in the droves of Republicans that have endorsed Kamala Harris over the course of this election? But if you go back from 2016 on, you've got the Lincoln Project, you have vote vets, you have Republicans against Trump and on and on. We were at the DNC, as everybody knows, it was former Trump official after former Trump official after Republican congressmen, uh, Republican lieutenant governors, Republican mayors, all endorsing Kamala Harris. Nobody with a ounce of decency, honor, uh, slight love for democracy is voting for Donald Trump. And I've had it I've up had to it. my eyeballs with the people who kind of softly whisper. And we hear this a lot in white circles. Oh, I really don't like the tweets and stuff like that, but I sure do. I sure did like his policies. And I'm like, Oh, quit. Quit acting like he's some bang up policy guy. Give me a break. This guy wouldn't know policy if it came up and bit him on the ass. The only way they can get this man to do what he wants is to say, hey, you did something nobody could ever do before. You overturned Roe. And so he feels like, oh, I'm the only one that did that. There's no thought or idea for the ramifications of doing such a thing. It, it, the fact that people can say that this man has good policies is just so divorced from reality. I wish that they would just come out and say it. I'm white. I like the shit that he does for white people and white people only, specifically rich white people, and I benefit from that. And we would benefit from this. But And we're not the most rock-solid moral people on the planet. <laughs> Quite frankly, we're morons. But... We have the decency and the integrity to say the most moral thing we can do is vote for the most marginalized members of the community because we have had an advantage. We have started the 100-yard dash on the 80-yard line. Yeah, it's just, it's jaw-dropping to me. The policy thing, it just makes me want to slap somebody. Gag. But I want to just like round it out today because as we all know, Donald Trump is incapable of showing respect to an opponent, particularly a black female opponent. So he is on an interview 
with his normal nasty women are she's nasty all that shit he says about women but he has the audacity the hypocrisy to say that Kamala Harris is mean to my pants let me play this clip but I agreed to all these things that I normally wouldn't agree to uh, now they have Kamala who they say has many deficiencies, but she's a nasty person. Uh, the way she treated Mike Pence was horrible. The way she treats people is horrible. You tried to have Mike Pence killed. You wanted him to die in effort to serve your overthrow of democracy. When I look at Trump, I think, does he know what he's saying, how hypocritical he is, how much it lacks anything other than blatant hypocrisy. I mean, what do you think? This man, there's no thought below the surface. He is a malignant narcissist and it, there's, there's zero depth. Everything is transactional right now. He knows he has a problem with the far right uh, leg of the Republican party. And so he, and he knows Mike Pence is out there saying, um, I'm not endorsing him. So in a transactional move, he tries to act like he's defending Mike Pence. But tomorrow's news cycle, after he sees what Mike Pence said about him, rest assured, True Social, 2.30 a.m., caps lock, Mike Pence is going to get it. It's There's no thought. Everything is an impulse and everything is transactional. And this, I always go back to this, Trump is predictable as the rising sun every morning. He is absolutely predictable. What needs to be answered here are the millions of people that justify voting for this clearly unstable, unfit, deranged, sexual predator, convicted felon. And I can go on and on and on and on about all the problems, but so many people morally justify voting for him. And that is the cancer. Crazy people exist everywhere all the time. What's so screwed up about America right now is we've said, who's the craziest motherfucker in the entire country? Who is it? Oh, it's this guy that puts on the orange makeup, not even that well. We have no problem with men wearing makeup. That guy, that's who we're going to put up three times in a row. And I want to leave you with this. The fact that the polls are this close is the most humiliating and embarrassing thing for me and for her as an American. Mm -hmm. Donald Trump's out there. The I cannot believe that he I would I get the crazy vote. I get the <laughs> racist vote. I get the, you know, Bible thumper vote. I do not get the women and men of the same world that Pumps and I live in justifying this and then walking around like they're great people. I mean, it just is unbelievable to me, the mental and moral gymnastics that people have to go through to justify their vote for this man, because we have seen it since 2016 and the stark split screen right now, when you see Tim Walls, you see his wife, Gwen, you see Kamala Harris, you see her husband, Doug, out stumping. They are adults in the room. They genuinely care about every single American. Their policies help every single American. And the millionaires and billionaires that want more, that's a problem that we've as long as the earth has been here where people get power and they want more power and they want more money. But we all have to fight for everybody. And the United States of America should be a place where everybody is equal and it's not, and we're working on it. But Donald Trump is simply not the solution to anybody's <laughs> problem. Even Elon Musk, Donald Trump will screw him over yeah. at some point. Nobody's safe under this man. Nobody. I don't even think his kids are safe. Oh, God, no. They're definitely not safe. Absolutely not. All right. Well, listen up. We are 
out of the country, but because we love the United States of America and we love our viewer and we love our listener, we're going to report every single morning. Uh, make sure you've subscribed here and wherever you listen to your podcast, leave us a five-star review. It helps us more than you know, and we will see you first thing tomorrow. It's so entertaining to have the vein. So